In this presentation, we will continue on with our S Corp Comprehensive Problem Part 9, a Schedule K adjustment for charity uh, donations. This is going to be in tax software, which will be Lacert. Lacert is the owner of QuickBooks, which is Intuit. It'll be a similar process for entering into any kind of tax software and then the generation of the forms. If you would like to just put this directly into the forms, you can uh, do so. We will provide the forms for you or you can get them at the IRS website at irs.gov, irs.gov. Here we are in our 1120S. We're now going to go to our Excel worksheet. We're going to be concentrating this time on the charitable contributions. That's going to be down here. I'm going to make those orange. So I'm going to make them orange so we, we could see them. The green ones are the ones we're done with. So I could make these items uh, green and say that we have checked those off. We've checked these off. So the green items have been completed. We're now in the charitable contributions. We're going to do this in a similar process. You'll recall that when we entered this into the software, we said, hey, I know that there's going to be a problem with charitable contributions and it's going to go someplace else, but we want to tie into the income that's been given to us. And therefore, we forced it to work in the software by putting it in the books as a deduction, noting that we'll go back to it later. So the deduction then is going to be down here in uh, other deductions. So now what I'm going to do is take it out of other deductions, basically that 8,000 out of other deductions and put it in as some kind of adjustment, which is going to go on the schedule K. Let's see where it will be on the schedule K and we'll do this in a systematic way. We know the schedule L is in balance right now. We're going to do a journal entry to hopefully be back in balance again. So we could check that. We could say page four. We are in balance here. And what we're going to do is, is adjust this and then that'll, that'll um, adjust in a way that we should remain in balance, hopefully. We know that in page one, we have the 57,510. So now let's go to page three. This is where the charitable de deduction we think it should be. There it is, charitable contributions. So I'm going to go here and say that's where the adjustment should be, I believe. I'm going to right click on that and jump to it. And then we're going to say that it's going to be this item. And I'm going to then go back over and say that the adjustment should be for $8,000. $8,000. So I'm going to say all right, 8,000 here. And then let's see what that does. I go back to my forms and there it shows up there. All right, that's great. What does that do for me? Does it throw me out of balance? I'm going to go, okay, here we go on page four. And we say, does it throw me out? Yeah, it does throw me out of balance. Why? Because it probably changed page one. I mean, it didn't change page one and we need to change page one. So if I go back to page one, we know that the charitable de deduction is still here in other deductions. And I need to basically remove it. Once I remove that, I would think I'd be back in balance. Let's do that. I'm going to close this back out. We're going to go to the detail. I'm going to go then to the uh, income. We're going to go to deductions. I'm going to go down to the other. And again, I'm going to show the journal entry. So I'm going to, I'm going to call this a schedule uh, K adjustment so that we could see it. And I'm going to put a negative 8,000 so I can see these two reversing out. That'll help us out for the review process. You might want to delete them later. But this will help us out to kind of see the actual journal entry into the software that we made. So I'm going to say, OK, and then go back up to the forms. And so now we're at the 65, 510. That changed. Did it put us back in balance in terms of page four? Are we back in balance here? We are. We're back in balance. That's a good that's a good sign. Now I'm going to do that in our software. So now I'm going to go to in, in Excel and see if I can reflect what happened with journal entries. So I want to get to this 65, 510. So I'm going to go back to the software and say, all right, I need to put this down below. I'm going to make it go into basically the schedule K adjustment, similar process we saw in the past. So I'm going to go back up. I'm going to say, all right, this is going to be a tax entry. It's going to be a tax entry. And I'm going to say that this is going to be equal to the debit now, because we're dealing with an expense is going to go to the, to the schedule K adjustment. And the credit then is going to be this charitable contribution. The amount is going to be for 8,000 debit and credit. Posting this out to the tax side. And notice we're kind of done with the, the adjustment side of things. We can even hide these cells. We don't really need them. We're really dealing with these three cells, the tax adjustments. So I'm going to actually hide this. I'm going to put my cursor on M and then scroll over to N, selecting those two columns, right click and hide those. And that might make it a little bit easier to go back and forth here. So then we're going to go to the charitable. I'm going to be here. I'm going to say this equals. And this is going to be the credit. Now that's going to bring it down to zero. And then the other side we're going to put down below. 
that's going to be here in uh, p42 i'm going to say this equals and scroll back up and that's going to be the debit so there we have it so now uh you'll note this number is picking everything up this number is stopping at the income statement with at these adjustments so let's see if we can tie out our income numbers to the tax return we go back to the tax return we're at 65 510 there's the 65 510 that looks good back to the tax return page three we're going to go down and say all right there's our adjustments page and here's the top number 65 510 that ties out bottom number 75 510 75 510 there's the 75 510 started at 65 510 the adjustments are those k uh, schedule k adjustments which are the reconciling items to get us to the 75 510 back to our tax return we are in balance that looks good on the schedule l page 5 m1 adjustments start at the 85 710 so that's going to be our book balance 85 710 and ends at the 75 510 and we reconcile it out to the 75 510 we can find here so we've tied it we can at least you know reconcile all those numbers to basically our worksheet next thing i'm going to do before we move forward is i'm going to uh, I'm going to make all the, the green items, which I don't have a problem with. I'm going to make all of those uh, no color. So we're, we only see the yellow instead of all this color here. So the yellow ones are the only ones that we need to deal with. I'm going to ungreen all these. Ungreen them. I'm not sure if that's a word, but I'm going to, they're green. I'm going to make them not green. So I'm going to ungreen them. And so there those are. And I'm going to make this middle column all uh, blue because that's our adjusting column. Let's make that all blue. And so there we have that. So now we're just going to deal with these yellow items. Uh, this one, I can make that. That's done now. So that one is gone. And then we can go to our uh, open items here. And we wanted to say that uh, we had the charitable uh, here. And I'm going to cross that out. That has been completed. Let's save this and save this and then we'll move on to the next one next time.